I will mention just a few of the ayat of Quran uh, regarding this act and supporting this act. Surah Al-A'raf, which is the seventh surah of the Quran, in the 80th ayah. وَلُوتًا إِذَا قَالَ لِقَوْمِهِ Lut he, he is uh, talking to his people, condemning this act of fahisha. He, he says this is a lewd, a, a condemned act of immorality that nobody before you did. He's telling his people uh, about homosexuality that, that you lay, يعني, للرجال, and you go to men with shahwa dun al nisa instead of women you go to men with these actions verily this is a committing a great sin so the condemnation of Lut uh, to his people and, and, and what happened to them and how Allah destroyed them is clear in the Quran but I want to point out a certain verse which is the 83rd verse وَأَنْجَانَ أَحْلَهُ يعني Allah sponsors and we we saved his, his family إِلَّا مرته, except for his wife why was his wife not saved? كانت من الغابرين She was from those who turned back. What does that mean, turn back? She supported, she, even though she didn't engage in those acts of homosexuality, but she supported the LBGTQ, whatever acts of homosexuality that were going on with the people of Lut. In the Quran, in Surah Al-Tahreem, in the 10th verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, دَرَبَ اللَّهُ مِثَالًا لِلَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ إِمْرَةَ النُّوحِ وَإِمْرَةَ Lut. Yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about those women who were disbelievers, an example. The believing woman Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the example of the wife of Fir'aun. But from the disbelieving woman, he gives the example of the wife of Nuh and Lut. Now, what is important is what punishment is given to the wife of Lut here in the Quran. She will be told, enter the hellfire with those that enter it. The wife of Lut, Tayyib, why? Did she go and worship idols? Did she go and, and practice homosexuality? No. What we know from the Quran and Sahih Hadith is she supported the Qawm of Lut against Lut alayhi salam. She gave them news. She supported the LBGTQ, whatever that you want to say, those people acting, even though she didn't do it, but she supported it in the Quran. It says she will be entering the hellfire. So as as a Muslim, you cannot support LBGTQ. This is what's in your book. If you want to change that, if you want to take that and, and, and edit it and, and try to go around it and, and find you, why don't you just leave it? I'm just serious. Look, if somebody has such tendencies uh, and they naturally have them, that's understandable. They need to work through that, whether it's through counseling, whether it's through uh, making dua or whatever else they need to do. But to act on them is no different if somebody has uh, feelings towards bestiality or other types of perversions. Somebody may have those, but to act upon that is a sin in, in Judaism, in Christianity, in Islam, in these faiths. And, and to support that, support that sin is not permissible for a Muslim, a Christian or a Jew. This is our religion. We're going to stick to it. And we have the freedom to say this. We have the right to hold our opinion. If somebody has the right to 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 support such actions in this country, then we should have the right of freedom of speech to say that we don't support it. And we shouldn't be ashamed of that. Don't be like the wife of Lut. Don't be like the wife of Lut. That because of your support of such things, you can enter the hellfire. May Allah protect us.